Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Last time we completed the first lesson, now we'll start the second lesson. Al Wahdatul Ula, first unit. At Tahiyatu, what tar? Greetings and introduction. At Dasusani, second lesson. Al Hevarusani, second dialogue. Hamza part first. Second dialogue part A. Unzur Vastame Waid. Look and listen and repeat. Muhammad Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be upon you. So Assalam mean peace. Alay mean upon. Kum mean you. Peace be upon you. Sharif Wa Alaikum Assalam. And peace be upon you too. So Wa mean and. Alay mean upon. Kum mean you. Assalam the peace and the and peace be upon you too. Muhammad Min Aina Anta Where are you from? Min means from Aina where Anta you Where are you from? Sharif Ana Min Pakistan I am from Pakistan Muhammad Hal anta Pakistani? Are you Pakistani? Hal mean are anta you? Pakistani mean Pakistani. Are you Pakistani? Sharif Nam, yes. Ana Pakistani. Yes, I am Pakistani. So Ana mean I am and Pakistani mean Pakistani man. Yes, I am Pakistani. Wama jinsiya tuka anta and what is your nationality? Wa mean and ma mean what jinsiya tu mean nationality ka mean your anta mean you and it is used for emphasis in this sentence and what is your nationality muhammad ana turki i am turkish ana min turkiya i am from turkey so ana mean i am turki mean turkish min mean from Turkiya is a name of country. I am Turkish. I am from Turkey. Sharif Ahlan wa Sahlan. Welcome. So here you learned that for male we use Anta and we use Ka for male as well. Then to show the male nationality we add Ya to the name of country. So Pakistan become Pakistani which means Pakistani man. Turkiya become Turkey. Turkey mean Turkish man. Now we will do the same thing for the females. Al Hevarusani Ba, second dialogue part B. Unzur Vastame Waid. Look and listen and repeat. Maryam, Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be upon you. Zainab, Wa Alaikum Assalam. And peace be upon you too. Maryam, Min Aina Anti. Where are you from? So, Anti mean you. Zainab, Ana mean Misr. I am from Egypt. Maryam, Hal Anti Misriya. Are you Egyptian? Zainab, Naam, yes. Ana Misriya. I am Egyptian. Wama Jinsiyatuki Anti. And what is your nationality? Wa mean and ma mean what? Jinsiya tuki your nationality anti you. And what is your nationality? Maryam ana suriya. I am Syrian. Ana min suriya. I am from Syria. Zainab ahlan wa sahlan welcome. So here you know that we learned about how to show the females nationality, feminine nationality. For that we added ya and ta marbuta. In case of men we only added ya. But in case of female we are adding both ya and ta marbuta. So Misriya, Egyptian lady. Surya, Syrian lady. Next we have vocabulary. This is the vocabulary that you learnt on the previous page. <coughs> so here you better write the meanings of these words. This is your homework. 
then tadrib sil bain al kalimati wa surat al munasiba join between the word and the free appropriate word join the word with appropriate picture so here you will join them like this so this is easy i hope for you next we have the third lesson al wahdatul ula first unit at tahiyat wa ta'aruf greetings and introduction at dars salis third lesson al hiwar salis third dialogue hamza part a unzur was tamay wahid look and listen and repeat Ahmad assalamu alaikum peace be upon you Badr wa alaikum assalam and peace be upon you too Ahmad haza akhi huwa mudarris haza mean this akh mean brother and ya mean my haza akhi this is my brother huwa mudarris he is a teacher Badr, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome, Ahmad, haza sadiqi, this is my friend, haza mean this, sadiq mean friend, and ye mean my, haza sadiqi, this is my friend, huwa muhandis, he is an engineer, huwa mean he, and muhandis engineer, huwa muhandis, he is an engineer, al akh the brother, Akh mean brother, Ya mean my, and Al Akh mean the brother. Ahalam wa sahlan, welcome. Ahmad, maas salama, goodbye. Badr, maas salama, goodbye. So here you learned how to introduce someone. So for male we use Haza and Huwa, and Ya mean my. You need to remember this pronoun Ya, which mean my. Al Hivaru Salis Ba, third dialogue part B. Unzur was the Look and listen and repeat. Nada Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be upon you. Huda wa Alaikum Assalam. And peace be upon you too. Nada. Hazihi Ukhti. He ya Tabiba. Hazihi, this is. Ukhti, my sister. Ukht means sister and ya means my. Hazihi Ukhti, this is my sister. He ya Tabiba, he ya means she is. Tabiba, doctor. He ya Tabiba, she is a doctor. Huda, Ahlan wa Sahlan, welcome. Nada, Hazihi Sadiqati, this is my female friend or my family, my female friend. So, Sadiq mean male friend and Sadiqa or Sadiqatun mean female friend and Ya mean my. Hazihi Sadiqati, this is my female friend. He Ya Taliba, she is a student. Al Ukht, the sister. So, listen, Ukht mean sister, Ya mean my and Al Ukht, the sister. Ahlan wa Sahlan, welcome. Nada ma'as salama, goodbye. Huda ma'as salama, goodbye. Then we have vocabulary. You will write their meanings here. And then you will upload it to Google Classroom. Silbain al kalimati wa surat al munasiba. Join the word with appropriate picture. So you will join them. And then you will upload it to Google Classroom. <coughs> Next we have. Adarsu Rabi fourth lesson Atadribul Awal First exercise Istami listen Summa da ala matasahiya fil murabail munasib Listen then put the check mark in appropriate box So to listen to this first you will go to Google Classroom once you open your google class you will go to the homework number 2 in the class Arabia 2 by Nayatik so you will go to homework number 2 here here it is homework number 2 so you will open it 
you will click on view assignment so here you see this video do you see this one you will play it you can also enlarge it from here you can also change the speed of his uh, speed from here so now you will listen it whatever he say you will put a check mark on it so let me demonstrate to you استمع ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد هذا so in the first one he said واحد واحد mean one so this he is telling us about this one and he used the word هذا هذا mean this and هذا is used for masculine so this means we will put a check mark on this picture so what will i do i will put a check mark on this one like this okay you can do it on your book or on your pdf wherever you are doing then let's see what is the next one it's not so in the second one he said Ucht. Ucht means sister so we have two options so I will put a check mark on this one now let's see what is the third one so in the third one he said the word mudarris so again you will put a check mark on this one because this is teacher so in this way you will listen it then you will put check marks and after putting your check marks you will send me the picture in google classroom again at the busani actually the surah tillati tasma'u ismaha point to the picture which you hear so again you have some option let's see what is in this one so i will go to the next video next video is here you see so you will play it التدريب الثاني أشر إلى الصورة التي تسمع اسمها أولا أخت so in the first one he said أخت so you see we have four options so I think this one is the better answer for أخت so I will put a check mark here in the second one he said the word anti so for anti i think this one is better so i will put check mark here okay so in this way you will do it and then you will upload it to google classroom then we have mufradat on idafi additional vocabulary so wahid mean one Isnan mean two, salasa three, arba four, khamsa five. Remember one thing that this counting is for masculine words only. For feminine counting is different, and there are some rules of counting as well that we will study in grammar, inshallah. Atadribul awal salbain aladadi was surat al munasiba. Join the number with appropriate pictures. So here you see that. In the first picture, we have one book, so we will join this dot with this dot. Then in the second one, we have four pictures, so you see it is joined with four. Then in the third one, we have three books, so we will join it with this one. So in this way, you will join them. Atadribusani ratti bilada in the numbers, so you will arrange them and write them here. So in the second one, you will write here two, three. Salasa in this way you will fill it then you can skip these two questions no need for that hmm. then we have a darsul khamis fifth lesson nataraki bunnahbiya grammatical structures atadribul awwal first exercise tabadal iswala wal jawaba ma zameelika kama fil misalain 
exchange the question and answer with your colleague like in the two examples al misal al the first example at talib al first student hal anta pakistani are you pakistani at talib sani naam ana pakistani yes i am pakistani al misal al sani at talib al at talibat al ula first female student hal anti pakistaniya are you pakistani at talibat al saniya naam ana pakistaniya yes i am pakistani so you here is telling you the difference between male and female so question how to do this exercise the best way is to close the example so you see we don't we can't see the example now so first question that you will ask him are you turkish so you try to say this sentence in arabic without looking at the example then this will benefit you otherwise it will not benefit you so you will say hal anta turki then you will answer naam ana turki again you will ask her the same question without looking at the example are you turkish so in arabic you will say hal anti turki ya and then you will say the answer as well naam ana turki hal anta misri naam ana misri hal anti misri ya naam ana misri ya so in this way you will do this one without looking at the example if you look at the example then it will not benefit you at all so do it without looking at the example then hati jumlan kama fil misal bring a sentence like in the example so akh mean brother akh mean brother but akhi mean my brother so note the difference when we add ya it become my brother when it is without ya it mean our brother so same is true for all of them ukht mean sister and ukhti my sister this word ukhti my sister sadiq mean friend and sadiqi my friend so here he is asking you to make a similar sentence and in the sentence you will say this is my brother he is teacher so haza akhi huwa mudarris again i recommend you to speak without looking at the example so first hide the example like this so you see i have hidden the example now you will say this is my sister she is a teacher hazih ukhti hiya mudarrisa then you will say this is my friend who he is a doctor haza sadiqi huwa tabib so in this way you will say these sentences without looking at the example and remember you need to say my friend not just friend you need to add ya to all of them التدريب الثالث تبادل السؤال والجواب مع زميلك كما في المثال exchange the question and answer with your colleague like in the example المثال دي اكزامبل الطالب الاول first student من اين انت where are you from الطالب الثاني انا من باكستان i am from pakistan so here we are basically asking the question so today we have done some exercises for spoken in which i told you that you can do them without looking at the book you can also write them on your notebook without looking at book if you write them then you can send me or if you record your audio then you can upload it to google classroom i will check it for the mistakes so again again we have min ayna anta where are you from ana min pakistan i am from pakistan then you will ask this lady where are you from so she is female so we'll say min ayna anti where are you from she will say ana min turkiya 
then we will ask this man no then we will ask where is he from min aina huwa the answer will be huwa min suria he is from syria in this way you will do this one as well without looking at the example so you can record your audio and upload it to google classroom or you can write it on your notebook or you can do it yourself then here he is telling you how to tell our names so this man is saying ismi khalid my name is khalid this man will say ismi khalil this lady will say ismi khatija then this man will say ana turki i am turkish ana min turkiya i am from turkey this lady will say ana suriya i am syrian ana min suriya i am from syria ana misriya i am egyptian ana min misr i am from egypt so again you will do it without looking at the example then we have the summary of the structures whatever sentences we have read are written here so if you just write their meanings here it will be very good for you you can upload it to google classroom so that i can check but it is an optional thing if you do it it will be good for you in long term so if anyone wants to read then they can read like this ana talib i am a student ana mudarris i am a teacher ana tabib ana misri ana turki ana suri then anta talib anta mudarris anta tabib anta misri anta turki anta suri then huwa talib huwa mudarris huwa tabib huwa misri like this then we you can skip this page and next time inshallah we will start this one if you have any question you can ask me on my whatsapp ma salama